hi guys welcome back to my youtube channel it's boy Louis. so in today's video i will be showing you guys how i pack my stuff and also how i organize them for a job so if this is what you're interested in this video is definitely for you please keep watching <laughs> If you're new to my channel, please don't forget to subscribe, give this video a thumbs up, like my other videos, watch them, share them with your friends, and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll always be notified whenever I post a video. So guys, let's go pack some stuff. So guys, I'm going to start off by showing you what I have in my bag. So first off, this is my canvas bag. I go anywhere. I go to for hair styling with my canvas hair. First of all, I can use my canvas hair to plot my frontals, and also I can also use it to. Sorry, guys, I'm using, I'm repeating words. I don't just know what's happening to me today, but I I, I can also use my canvas hair to style someone's hair. Let's say after styling the bright hair, and I have maybe an extra person to style the person's hair. So while the person make, person's makeup is going on. I can use my canvas head with my tripod to work on her hair. So guys, I am trying my best not to make this video very long. So I'm going to be picking uh, my products and my equipment in twos or in threes so that this video won't be too long for you guys. So here I have my dryer and I also have my professional steam styler, which is my straightener. So this straightener, you can actually put water in it. It splits ends like you know, you know what I'm saying. It's a very, you know, nice straightener. And sorry guys, nobody paid me to do anything for them. I'm just showing you guys the products and equipment I use and how I pack them for a job. And this is my hand dryer. It's the regular hand dryer. I like to use it because it's good for commercial. Like this dryer can last you. The other one I had, I, I've had it since. I had them since 2016 and I still have them till now. So here I have my coilers. I like to travel with these sizes and one other one for this trip. I they really go with the smaller curler because now I really don't like to do what everybody's doing so I go with two different sizes the big size actually so this is in 32 and this is in 28 so these curlers they serve me really well and just so you know I got them from all my big tools on Instagram you can look her out so guys these products are my go-to products and I go anywhere I want to go to with them they are like the key to my hairstyle. So I have here my heat control. If you've watched, if you've followed my channel from the very first day I started, you know how much I love to use the heat control because it helps not to damage a client's hair. And here is my got to be gel. I use the got to be instant multi purpose um, gel. Like I've, I've done a couple of videos here where I showed you guys how to use the got to be spray and what I use it for. So I'm going to leave some video up here or a video up here so you can go watch and see what you know and learn rather what to do on how to use your got to be spray so up next is my organic olive shine so i use this mist to like you know just put little shine on my client's hair after i finish styling so it's a very good um lightweight um, mist i love it and also here I have my ultra hold spray. If you're familiar with every video I post here, I use the ultra spray. I love it. So guys, with me here, I have my spray bottle. I love to put my conditioner, my um, egg oil and water just to detangle a client's hair or even use it on a client's bun. And here are my bun. I have them in different sizes. So I use this two style mainly for traditional marriage or for white wedding and here is my pin box i like to put my big pins my bobby pins here because i really like my stuff organized when i go for a job i don't like to see you know everything that concerns hair for me everywhere i just keep everything like i have a station where i set up and i don't like to look for things and I so guys here is my bold hold active it's my adhesive i use it to lay my frontal and here is the Protect. So this is my wax. 
better and this is my styling form it's from um, the essential for my legs i normally use um, the essential tint it comes in honey and caramel these are like the basic um tint um shades i use all the time so i mostly use the caramel and the honey all the time and here is my um cap i like to go for the beige one because after everything i can you know I know I'm still going to use the tint on it just to match the person's shape. This is my needle and thread. They are somewhere in the back. And also my elastic band. I use the elastic band to tie my front toes. And I also use it to, you know, like when I make a wig, I just put it inside so it can be tight. And this is my invisible net. I use this for styling too. So um, one thing I never forget to travel with is my relaxer. You never can tell a relaxed hair bride or a client who wants to do leave out and her hair is really strong or really due for a touch so you just have to apply relaxer quickly and make that place you know pop powder and my mix paint and also here i have the developer so this is the developer i use and it's in 12 percent the volume is just 40 i said in some of my videos the higher the percentage, the faster the reaction. So this is 12 and it's small, so the reaction is quite low. Marking, like when I want to mark the hairline, I use this to mark it. And also there are bigger ones, I just use it to dust out, like where I have shine in the front hair, I just use it to dust it to remove the shine. So here I have my bobby pins. I like to travel with them, a lot of them. This here in my video, the bobby pin is like the master tool in hair styling. So I never run out of bobby pins. So I'll advise you guys, buy a lot of bobby pins and put it in your bag so you don't run out of bobby pins. Also, I never forget to travel with my spirit. So this is the more cool um, spirit. You can buy it in any brand. It doesn't matter. So once it's out of all, you can use it. And here is my hot comb. I got this hot comb from Glitensha. You can look her up on Instagram and also order yours. So guys, I also have my Eco Styling Gel. I use it a lot. I use it to do ponytails. I use it for traditional hairstyles. And this is my got to be gel. I use it also for white wedding. I use it for ponytail and also for traditional hairstyle. You can slay your edges with the got to be gel. Trust me. I've done videos here. I'm going to leave it up here. You can go watch it. So guys, another thing I never forget to travel with is the rubber band. Trust me, if you forget your rubber band, if you're not careful, you might turn into a mad person just this small thing here can just make you go crazy so never forget to pack your rubber band your needle your thread and also what what other small thing that um, looks like is not useful but it's actually one of the keys in hair styling so never forget them so i also don't forget to travel with my control pins because it's very useful in hair styling You guys are familiar with this kind of brush the one that has the smaller um the small comb you can also use a regular toothbrush it doesn't matter so so far it can control the edges and give you what you want go for it guys then here i have this brush it's kind of a detangler i use it for any hair tie mostly when i'm blow drying or when i'm you know but ironing the hair, I also use this. Can also use this brush for your weaves. And this other brush, the bigger brush, I use it for my weave. This is a popular brush, we all know it. So I use it for my weave one. Then I have my rattle comb. Excuse me, guys. I have my rattle comb. I use it to section the hair and also to smoothen the hair. So up next is my a mix brush. This is this flat brush. I use it to mix my um hair dye developer um powder my relaxers i also use this to apply my relaxers too then here is um the white tooth um comb i use this to do my side sweep let's say for um dangling hairstyles hairstyles where i don't have to start packing and using paint i just use this to like loosen it so it will be tight so guys lastly before we go 
Another thing I never forget to pack is my light, my tripod, and also my charger and a little extra is that extension. I think someone is using it, so I, I never forget to pack all this thing. So guys, my attachments, I use this to weave a cleanser. So whenever I'm going for a job, I just cut out a little that I need because I wouldn't want my bag to be clustered. So I just take what I need. And also, I never forget to go with a wig cap because something might happen, the bride might just tell you, okay, we're somewhere, we're checking decor and by the time she comes back, she won't be able to install her hair. So what I do is I just go straight and make a wig overnight and, you know, style it in the morning. If you like this video, please don't forget to give it a thumbs up and also subscribe to my channel and turn on the notification bell. welcome back once again i hope you guys really enjoyed how i packed my stuff and you guys really learned um, one or two things from the way i organize my things and what i pack also for a job please don't forget to subscribe to my channel if you're here to do that and also don't forget to give this video a thumbs up like my other videos watch them share them with your friends and also don't forget to turn on the notification bell so you'll always be notified whenever I post a video. So guys, I'll see you in my next video. Bye-bye.